Hey everyone, I figured now during Vlogtober is the best time to talk to you about my current meal planning situation. If you have been following me for any length of time, you know that meal planning for me has always been, it's like a blessing and a curse, right? Like I love to cook. I love trying new things. I'm also picky as fuck. I am like a cook who is picky as fuck, which is my tip. If you're picky, learn to cook because if you're the cook, you don't have to make anything you don't like, which is the way I live my life. <laughs> I'm going to lay out some information really quick to let you know kind of the context and how this meal planner became a savior in our household to not exaggerate, possibly exaggerate a little bit. First of all, there are four people in our household. Myself, my husband, Jesse, my two kids, Kat and RJ. Kat is set almost 17, holy shit. And RJ is 14 and a human garbage disposal. We don't have four people in our household every week. I share custody with Kat and RJ's dad and we do a 50% split. So every week we trade off and our trade off has been on Fridays. Standard meal planners that run Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday have never worked out for us because I generally meal plan Friday through Thursday because that's when we have our kids or when we don't have our kids. It's just, it's easier that way. It's better to go grocery shopping the day they come back from dad's because I'm gonna need the food to feed the aforementioned human garbage disposal. Thirdly, my husband has diabetes type one, and I have polycystic kidney disease, which makes you think I'm not allowed to have potatoes or bananas, but actually my potassium is super low, even though I'm like in late stage kidney disease. So my, our diets are all over the place. It's most important to us more than anything else. It is most important to us to eat home cooked meals as often as possible with as many vegetables as possible, basically is what works best for Jesse and I. On top of all of that, RJ will eat almost anything, but when he doesn't like something, he really doesn't like it. Cat is lactose intolerant, but we can take lactate if we're gonna have any sort of dairy in our food, but also prefers to not eat red meat. It's not for like a vegetarian reason so much as Cat just doesn't like it. We need to just be sure to try non-red meat options, or if we have red meat of some sort to make sure that there's enough of something for anywhere else. Anyway, we all have our own things, but for us, planning meals is really important. The biggest reason though, that this meal planning system came into effect was that as I have gotten sicker and my energy levels have tanked and my pain levels have spiked, I have not been able to cook every single night, Jesse was cooking for me. The problem is that Jesse doesn't always know what we have. And so we needed something where he would know what we have, know what to do, and be able to choose from what we had so that he can pick what's gonna be easier for him to cook, or I can pick what's gonna be best for me to cook that night, or, oh, I have a lot of energy, let's do the complicated thing. Basically, what we realized was we needed a source of information everybody could find, anybody, my husband, my kids, whoever, to see what we had going on, but then also have the recipes available and to not say we're having this on Tuesday, this on Wednesday, this on Thursday. We needed to be able to be flexible. So that's how this meal planning system came into fruition. And I got the idea of the binder and the page protectors you'll see from Jen Chapin. So I will link her channel down below. The meal planning printables I'm using in here, not very many of them, but you will see them are from Shop Carrie L that will also be linked in the comments below in the description below. She does printed bound meal planners, but they sell out in like a hot second. So, and I didn't really want one anyway. I wanted something more flexible than that. So she has downloads, like printable downloads, and it was like four bucks or something. And I got the one I wanted and I will show you why it was the one I wanted when we get deeper into this. But the cover is also part of it. So this is our meal planner binder. It is a two inch binder. I started with a one inch binder and we grew out of it within a couple of weeks. So this is the big honker and we still have some room to grow. The cover for this in the binder is from the shop Carriel set and I got the binder from Target or some shit. I wanted to make sure to get a binder that had both the outside thing to put a cover in for the prettiness, but then also inside pockets because I actually have a use for them. So this is the inside pocket. And what we're putting in here are meal plan menus that worked out really well for us, okay? So if we did a menu with one of these and the menu overall worked really well for us as a family, we stuck to it, we didn't throw a bunch of stuff away, we didn't eat out a whole bunch, whatever, we're gonna stick it here for future reference. Now, In the front here is all of the stuff for the upcoming week. I wanted to make it easy for them to find. If you have teenagers or a husband or I'm sure another spouse, 
whether you're in like I'm sure if you are in charge of cooking your significant other or others probably needs to have this right in front of their face too because god forbid you investigate a little bit or look at my pinterest jesse whatever that's we're moving forward this is like a it's a it's a hole punched pocket i don't remember where i got it probably staples or something i had it in my mountain of fucking school supply overstock that lives in my house so what this is, is for new recipes that are for the week that we are currently in. This pork chops recipe is one I think I'm doing tonight, but like I actually did this one already and we really liked it. So we'll, I'll show you what I do with that. And this crispy garlic situation, was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. I have not tried this, but this one's going to go to the back and I'll talk about that in a second there. Some of these need to go to the back. I'll talk about that in a second. The recipes that are in here are recipes that are on the meal plan for this week that I haven't tried yet these are new recipes i like to try new recipes as often as possible i used to not but it's becoming a method of introducing more stuff into like the cooking repertoire because if left to my own devices i'll make the same five things over and over again so this helps me expand both with things to maybe help me be a little less picky i am by far the pickiest person in the house or just to try different things. And since I got my Dutch oven, which I will talk about next week in my favorites video, I have been really interested in more cooking because it's more fun with that thing. So new recipes. These are all recipes that are currently, 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 currently on the meal plan. And I guess I'll show you because these ones can go to the back. These recipes are ones that were up here because I was going to put them on the meal plan, but then I didn't. I'm just going to go straight to the back here because this makes sense. These recipes are ones I have come across that I want to try, but I haven't gotten around to yet. They're not in the meal plan, but I want to save them for later. All of these recipes are recipes that are on the meal plan that we have already made and we know we like. Like I made a note here to use parchment paper. And so what I'll show you with this guy is that since I made this and we liked it, I am going to put it in a page protector and stick it in its appropriate place. This way, both we know that it's tested and we like it and it's already been cooked before because it's in a page protector. There's a higher chance it's not gonna get all jacked up while you're cooking. Like I had a new one out. I think I already put it away. I had a new one out and while I was cooking and it got like, you know, spattered and shit. So it was all, like, it was all janky. Put it in the back with breakfast. Put it in its appropriate spot so that the next time I wanna make it, I know where it is. When you open this book, the first thing you see are new recipes, recipes we've tried that are on the meal plan and then the meal plan. So all my husband or my kids need to look at if they wanna cook for a night is in this very, very front section to figure out what we actually have in the house for dinner and what's available. So this meal plan, this is the meal plan sheet that we use every week. This is from the printable. The reason I got this printable, aside from the fact that I like the flowers, was that she had a couple of different versions of this menu sheet. Most of them said like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, but this one left it blank. That way we can just check them off when they're eaten or not bother like what I'm doing here, right? So I can plan my dinners out for the week and then make my grocery list. When it comes to breakfasts, lunches, things like that, I do have recipes in here and I'll like, if I wanna make the rice pudding or something, I'll buy the stuff for it. But I just wanna make sure that there's options. We are not very adventurous if we have eggs and if we have rice and some tofu, cause my kids are hippies and you know, quiches, like the Trader Joe's quiches, whatever. If we have options, they can find their own fucking breakfast and lunch, but this is for dinners, right? So if Jesse wanted to come and cook and he was like, okay, I want to make this garlic chicken thighs. I want to be adventurous over rice with salad. Okay, then. So let's look in here, find the garlic chicken recipe, pull that out, and we should have everything all ready for it because it's on the weekly menu. Jesse likes being helpful but he's also the kind of guy that you got to kind of like lead to the helpfulness. It's kind of like you walk past the bathroom and it looks like hot garbo, but I can't bend over to clean it. He knows he's going to be the one to clean it, but yet it'll just keep getting more and more grody until I'm like, dude, can you clean the bathroom? Sure. And he's totally fine to do it, but it's like, it doesn't exist until I point it out. Well, this is for it to exist for him. I'm working with what I got here, people. While I'm making the grocery list, that's when the inventory section comes into play. This is where my organization heart just goes so happy. So I keep a few extra menus here and just print them as I need them. 
the inventory section is the fun section. What this is, is my pantry inventory, my spice inventory, and I still have not done my freezer inventory yet because I defrosted it, but I have not gotten around to it and I need to because I've put some more meat in it. So I need to put down like what we've got in here. But this tells you what's in my pantry, what's in my spice cabinet, and like my baking area, like kind of both, you know, spices, oils, fucking cornstarch, you know, vanilla, shit like that. And then I also will print up my imperfect foods order that is coming in that week once it's been verified. And I'll keep that here. That way, when I'm planning, I can both look at what I already have to make decisions. Like I've got a shit ton of spaghetti. I should put some spaghetti meals on here, like the scallop spaghetti, which is chef's kiss. As I'm making my, my list out, I can double check to see if I have it already. So I don't wind up with eight things of chicken broth when I don't need eight things. I have limited counter space. I have limited pantry space. I have limited everything space in this house. This is a tiny, expensive California house. And so I don't have a lot of room for a bunch of shit. So having an inventory of what I've got while I'm meal planning that I keep relatively updated will help me meal plan more efficiently and more effectively. Plus having these things in the inventory, especially once I get the freezer inventory done, is helpful for Jesse because he might wanna just look in the freezer and see if there's something in there that he can figure out rather than make one of the things I've got. The inventory I don't keep is an inventory of like my refrigerator, aside from like, you know, the spices and like the dressings and things like that that are in there, but I don't inventory like the vegetables and the meats and stuff because we generally eat through everything that's in it or compost what's left. So that that's much more fluid. The pantry and everything else tends to be a little bit more stable. So now we're into the actual recipes. And like I said, these are all recipes we know we like that are in page protectors. So Jesse does not have to go to my Pinterest. He can just come in here and look. One of my goals with this is to eventually get a little bit, get a little, you're gonna laugh at my categories. They're so ridiculous, but it was a start. I do plan on increasing the number of categories to make this a little bit easier to hunt through. But for now, we'll just, it is what it is, right? So we have dinners <laughs> and I'd like to, I would like to turn this into like soups and whatnot, you know, or maybe buy like the protein that's in it because a cat, but like chicken gnocchi soup. We made this for dinner last night. As soon as it was made, I just took it and put it back in its dinner category. This is so fucking good. The scallop spaghetti is another one we made this week already. Again, so fucking good. But like if it's in the front, because that's where I stuck it, then it, that reminds me that maybe I want to go back through here towards the back to find like Kat requested this one specifically. I should put a, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put a page flag on this because Kat requested this hibachi. It's like a Benihana style uh, chicken and fried rice recipe that you make in the walk. It's so fucking good. I say that a lot, but it's true. It's so fucking good. I am going to just put a little page flag to remind myself to meal plan for this this week. If it's far in the back like this, then that might mean it's been a while since we've made it and maybe we should bring it to the front. So these are dinners. The next two categories are also dinners. Slow cooker dinners. <laughs> So these are all ones that can be done in the crock pot. But again, it's just dinners. Notice that I did not put the slow cooker rice pudding recipe in here because only in my heart is that dinner. Instant pot meals. And the funny thing was when I started filling this up, I thought I had more instant pot meals I love, but it turns out it's like the same five, six recipes over and over again. And then we have some breakfasts, slow cooker rice pudding, slow cooker apple cinnamon steel cut oatmeal. These bacon, egg, and arugula breakfast sandwiches are from my arugula experiment almost two years ago, and they are still one of my favorite things ever. And then baking. So we've got like baked oatmeal and apple pie and chocolate chip and that's it. Like there's more recipes. I haven't printed all my recipes. I have some in cookbooks that I'm probably not gonna put in here, but like I want, the, and then other shit. So you see, this is my, my pico de gallo and chipotle rice. Like the, this is my sort of half-assed organization of it, but I plan on organizing it more. And then these pages I stuck in as well. These were from the same printable. They're just conversions. They're helpful for me. I knew where to look in my cookbooks to find these, but I, it's also good to have in here for Jess or for Kat or for RJ. I figured having these in here would be helpful for them if they needed it and helpful for me. And then we just have a bunch of extra page protectors for new recipes. And then I'll have to put some more in when to have them handy, because if they're handy, you'll use them. If they're not handy, then you probably won't use them. And then the new recipes in the back. And this is our meal planner. It took a little bit to set up, but once we got it set up, we have now been using this, I think 
since beginning to early September through now, the end of October, we have used this every single week. And Jesse has used it. Kat has used it. RJ has grunted at it. It has been working so far. And we do want to incorporate a scoring system for the recipes. So we kind of know incorporating in how yummy it is, how easy it was to make, how intense is the cleanup, and how good does it reheat? Because on the occasion, RJ leaves his leftovers. It's nice to know if something's going to reheat or if it's not going to reheat. Well, we haven't done that yet. We have been arguing over what the best system is. My thought is we need like a thumbs up or thumbs down system because it's the only way we'll keep up with it. Whereas Jesse and RJ are wanting to get all like data oriented and have like a 10 point system or something. So we haven't, we haven't decided on that yet. I'll keep you posted on that. But in the meantime, keeping all the recipes together, making it like easy as fuck to figure out what to make for dinner if you're not the one who's usually in the kitchen and keeping an inventory and keeping kind of a rolling list of recipes to both keep us from getting bored, to help me get better at trying new things because I'm so picky, to help us use up the food that we have and save a little bit of money and to just keep things interesting in the kitchen. This has been very, very, very helpful. This doesn't even live at my desk. I bring it to my desk when I'm meal planning because I'm often at my computer cruising through Pinterest. This lives on my limited counter space next to my fridge. Like that should tell you something. I have such limited counter space that this thing is important to us and is used enough to actually live next to the paper towels, the salt and pepper and the olive oil. Like it has a spot. So that means it's working. So hopefully it'll keep working. Eventually I'd like to put a holiday section in here as well. Maybe next month when we do our own fake Thanksgiving cooking for Zoom's giving that we're having next month on a fake Thanksgiving day. Who knows? I will keep you updated, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Any tips you have for meal planning, the most favorite recipe that you've tried recently, anything like that in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my dudes, peace out.